paying. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about this because the Rubik's Cube World Championship taking place in South Korea. 1,400 Cubers, because that's what they're called, are competing across 17 different events with a top prize of around £2,500. So one of them is Chris Mills, joining us from South Korea now. Morning to you, Chris, in the studio here. Uh, so far, well, we have speed cuber Harry Savage. Morning, Harry. Good morning. Uh, so, Chris, let's go to you first. You're actually in... You're an expert, but you're also in the competition. Can you just explain to everyone yeah. how does the, the cubing competition work? How, how are you judged? How, are you, how do you compete? So, for a normal round at a, a Rubik's Cube competition, there is a lot of different events, the main one being the, the standard 3 by 3 so we will uh, go backstage, um, submit our puzzle to be scrambled, then we'll get taken to a station where there's a judge, and then we're given 15 seconds to look at the cube and analyze it before we start the solve. Then we start it, solve the cube, stop. Our time is written down. We repeat that for five solves, and then our average time is um, then put towards the, the rankings, and that's uh, how, how we rank in a round. OK, it's a very good explanation. Chris, now, just so people understand how good you are at this, you've got a cube there. You can do yes, a Rubik's do. Cube, I'm told, in, what is it? Is it six seconds or four seconds? Just show us. Can you demonstrate? Six is about my average. All right. All right. Have we got that? Have Whoa! We got the that yes, I've been. I found a, a super old stop clock. Um, can I find it here? Look, ten. Ten seconds. seconds. We had you ten managed seconds. That in ten seconds. That's extraordinary. Thank you, Chris. Just just tell us, Harry. We'll we'll come to you in a second, Chris. For for someone like me who is, uh, it, um, you know, Rubik's cubes kind of scare me in a way. What was what's actually going on in your head while you're doing that? What's happening? So over the years, I've learned a lot of different tricks, and it's all a method that we learn uh, on how to solve it. But every time we're turning it, things are changing in our head, and we're, it's, most of it is muscle memory from training different algorithms, we call them, over and over again. Uh, but I'm always learning new things. I'm always learning new tricks. Um, but, yeah, like for me now, just to solve that, that was just all in my head, and I, I've known how to do that for a while. That is unbelievable. Um, Harry, you've been doing this for some time as well. You're, you're what age are you now? I'm 22 now. You're 22. Mm -hmm. And at the tender age of what? You, you actually got the, the, the quickest, didn't you? The, the, the shortest number of moves. Yes. So when I was 17, I broke the world record for solving the Rubik's Cube in the fewest number of moves. OK, so how do you do that? Because I know, obviously, you know, if, if you Google this, and I have done, um, there are lots of different algorithms that allow you to do this. You can sort of input data into a computer and it will show you how to, how to fix it. How do you go about solving it yourself in, in as few number as, as moves? How do you do that? Do you need, like, a giant maths brain? <laughs> no, you don't at all. Um, I should explain a bit about how the event works. Sure. Um, because it's quite different to all the other events, which are more about speed. So the fewest moves event is almost a bit like an exam. You have a scramble written down on a piece of paper that everyone has the same scramble in the round. Um, and you have an hour in total to try and find the shortest solution you can to that scramble. So you're able to bring some cubes with you and you can try um, lots and lots of different ways of solving it um, to try and find the shortest solution you can. But the cool thing about the fewest moves challenge is what it's called. Um, is that there is not a huge amount of reliance on algorithms and um, methodology. It's a lot more kind of freestyle almost. Harry, um, you, that one in front of you there, mm -hmm. shall I mash that up? Yeah, go for it. Uh, is that Please. a technical phrase? I just yeah. said that. <laughs> Scram but scramble, but yeah. Scramble, 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 scramble it. OK, I'll scramble it a bit, and then we're going to set you a little task. Have I done that enough? Do you know? Yeah, that's right. Is that right. reasonable? OK, sure. OK. I'll pass it to you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to solve it, right? Yes. Do you want to have a quick look at it first? Is that OK? Yeah, of course. I mean, Thank we, you. we actually we saw that, didn't we, um, in terms of having a look at, at speed as well. Have it's, you got it's the obvious, ready? It's obvious how you do it. Should we give you a countdown, Harry? Are you ready? Are you, yeah, sure. Are you all right? Are you ready to yeah, go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. go OK, three, three two, two, one, one go. Oh! That is unreal. Do you know what your time is? 
hopefully you faster than again? Chris. <laughs> what was it? He was. He was. He was quicker. He was seven and a half seconds. Wow. Thank you. Seven oh, and a half seconds. Look. But do you know what? I bet there's actually quite a community. And not, not only obviously are you, you know, you're, you're trying to get quicker, you're trying to get better yourself. But I bet there's quite a community of this because it's it's it's, it's, an, it's sort of an interesting thing to get into, and you only get better and better, don't you, over time? Chris, tell us. Yeah, that was for you. Sorry, Chris, Sorry, that Chris. was for you in South <laughs> Korea. You're just saying about. I mean, clearly you get a real buzz out of it. You know, the smiles on both your faces as you, as you complete them. <laughs> Bit hard for me, in all honesty, to understand where that satisfaction comes from. But it's clearly it's it's massive. It's a huge event, I know, and a lot of people follow it. Yeah, so I know people all around the world from this and just walking around this competition today, it's hard for me to get around and do stuff because every 20 meters I see a friend from Australia or from America I haven't seen in ages. And there's a really big camaraderie around speed cubing. Like we're competing against each other, but really we're competing together to try and get faster. Do you know what? It's been lovely talking to you, Chris. Thank you so much. And uh, good luck, because I know you're competing. So, Chris, good luck. Harry, nice to see you too, Victoria. Thank you so I'm much. going to Thank give you. you this. You've got an hour. It's 8.59, OK? No. I'm going to give you an hour. How's we that? Said, we said no cubing shame. Yeah, but you've we got promised. an hour. You've got an hour. Is that, is that fair enough? We've got the headlines coming up in just a moment. <laughs> this company is different. The agent is as important as the property.